Hey guys, welcome to our intermediate video on our Kimura trap from Side Control. So we're going to be here. Now in the last video, we covered what happens when he tries to dive. So I clamp and I come over the top, latch on, grab and push. Now sometimes if you're not careful, when we get to this position, sometimes if you're not careful, as I start to rock and I lift, Matt will come up with me and then he'll keep coming. And then, oh no, everything goes downhill and I lose the position. And maybe I finish it, maybe not, but it's significantly harder. And if you don't finish it, if you don't get the submission, you're all of a sudden in a bad spot. So it's not very good. So watch what we have to do. You ready? Well, I'm not gonna lock up the Kimura trap. I'm just gonna show you the motion with my feet. So Matt, you have your hands like this for a second, just so I don't crunch them. I wanna show you the motion. When we've got the Kimura lock set up, I want to walk around the corner and then step over his head. Because now if he tries to sit up into me, I can use my leg to push him back down. And this is very, very hard for Matt now. So we're going to be here. He gets underneath my arm. I latch over the top and I start setting up the Kimura lock. I rock, walk around the corner and step over the head. Now, we don't want the head in my bottom, we want it underneath my knee, underneath my knee. Now when I rock, you see how much better that is? Try and sit up, Matt. Yeah, see how much harder that is for you. Yep. Make sure as well, when you go around the corner, you don't accidentally knee your partner in the head. So, we're here, I rock over the, grab my Kimura lock, rock, walk around the corner, step over the head. And now just the same, I'm looking for the finish. Give it a go guys, let me know how you go.